Hello, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you a few operations that you can do on Array and usually you will do these operations more often. Uh, let's go ahead and create the Array. Just go ahead and create an Array. Um, I know I want to have 10 elements in this Array because I want to fill them with some values and start operating on those values. So instead of using the square bracket to create the array, since I know how many elements I want, just go ahead and use the new keyword array and I specify the number of elements I want. In this case, an array will be created which can hold up to 10 elements. Well, you can add more if you want to. And uh, all the values uh, in those elements are undefined. So JavaScript would not allocate any space on the memory unless you put a value in those uh, elements. Uh, what I want to do is I want to write a very simple loop uh, to actually uh, add some uh, random value into each element of the array. So I start with the i at 0 and then of course I go uh, uh, less than num dot length number of element right and then I will increment the value so I can move to the next index in sequence. So I just simply go ahead use the index and I will make it equal uh, mat random uh, is the function that returns a random number. This the number minus one will give you up to this number. So I just simply parse end to make sure it is a number and I will store that into the array. Let me just go ahead and save this value. I will bring it up. I want to show you it works. So if I just go here and uh, go to inspect element console and I just simply type num I should be able to see the value as filled all the elements are filled so one more time and as you can see these are uh, random random numbers right so here you go I do it one more time okay we're good to go let's go to the next step what I want to do now I want to add an element to the end of the array so definitely, in order to be able to access any element in the array, I need the name of the array, square bracket. And this is where I have to put the index or uh, the unique ID to a cell in this array. We all know whenever we say dot, dot length, it actually returns us the number of elements in that array. In our case, we have 10 elements, right? But since array starts from 0, the last index is always length minus 1. So if I just go ahead and put the same thing here, if I go and just say num.length, I'm referring to an element that doesn't exist, but is right after the last element on the current array. So this forces JavaScript to create a new element at the end of the array. So I can simply go ahead. So simply what I'm going to do is now I'm going to add an element to the end of array, right? So right here, I just go ahead and add the value, JavaScript, right? Let's go ahead, uh, refresh my page, and see what's going on. Okay, let's refresh the page, go ahead, and print the norm. As you can see, the new element has been added to the end of the array. Well, uh, there are a few ways of doing this. This is one way. Another way is because uh, array is an object, meaning it has some properties, attributes like length, and it can uh, operate as well. It can have some functionalities. Uh, so one of the functions that comes with the array is called dot .push function. Dot .push function allows me to actually add a new value here, right? Uh, using push function, right? So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to add a new element to the end of the array. Let me just go ahead and run this one more time. Go ahead here, and I just simply print num. As you can see, the last element is added to the end of the array. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial as how to add an element to the end of the array. Thank you for watching.